Hello fellow Beaners, here we are back in the Media Center and this time we're going to be talking about My Apps. So before I get started on My Apps, I would like to strongly recommend that if you're a new Jelly Bean user, this is not an area that you should really be playing with. The reason being is because you could accidentally download an app or update something that the Jelly Bean could have interfering with its own programs. Okay, so please stick to, you know, the music, the movies, and the TV shows during your first three to four weeks. Get completely accustomed with using the mouse and how simple it is, or using the keyboard in the back and understanding that you shouldn't have your hands over both ends because, of course, the keyboard can't work anymore, etc., etc. But getting into my apps just gives you an opportunity, in essence, to see just that much more in terms of what the Jelly Bean is capable of. You know, TED Talks is, a, is an awesome program. I thoroughly enjoy it. Again, getting back into the educational stuff. So that's a, a, an app that I tend to click into. A lot of the, the Jelly Bean users do tend to like the NHL, NFL, um, Pro Sport app. Uh, perhaps they enjoy uh, Exodus or EarthCam, or, you know, C Cloud, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There is a lot of stuff that's available in here. And the reality is that you can find even more if you click on this puzzle. I just want to give you an idea of just how much is available in, you know, at your fingertips. When I click OK, this is now going to literally present to me 1,819 different apps that I could get a hold of if I wanted to and they will pop up on the side of the screen here and you can see that the letter is happening but that's how many are showing in, in availability, okay? So it can be definitely overwhelming. Again, something I strongly recommend you stay away from until you've got a lot of time on the Jelly Bean.